Hi there and welcome in everybody. Today's show is going to be quite a bit different than normal. But uh, hey, we want to put this little video together for you guys as a look back on what we have been up to in 2015. So uh, I have to downloaded all of my most favorite moments that I can think of. And I'm going to be taking section out of those videos, sections out of those videos, like little clips, and I'm going to throw them together. What I'm going to try and attempt to do is, from the beginning of the year, whichever one was the first, I'm going to try and line them up so that way they are in order. Uh, this video might be a little bit longer than my usuals, but uh, hey, I hope you guys enjoy my look back at 2015. So stay tuned and here it comes. Well, good morning, good morning. As you guys will be able to tell, I have been driving in snow. Have a look at this. All the snow in the back of my cabby. Eh? I'm just gonna do a uh, circle check right now. Checking all my tires and getting some snow off and stuff like that, you know. We'll go to the back of the trailer. I always uh, try to grab me a hammer and then uh, bang the tires and uh, make sure the tires are all full, you know. Knock off some snow. This is where it gets interesting. Have a look at the back of the trailer. Oh yeah, you can't even see the damn lights. Look at all the snow we got up here. So I usually take a hammer and I smack them right here. Have a look at that. All that snow comes down, eh? Yeah, so now we can see the lights back up there again. Knock all the snow out of here. Now you tell me if you can see where am I supposed to be? Whereabouts? Because I only see white stuff. Probably about five, six feet uh, high edges right here. Look at that. They're on the right here. Look at them high snow banks. And this is a two lane highway. You know, this car is just about stopping here. I don't know why they do that. I saw a uh, boys and truck in the ditch there a while back ago. I didn't have time to turn the camera on, but. It was the same thing, he, uh, I guess he lost sight of the road and uh, he, hit, uh, he, hit the, he hit the shoulder here and uh, the snowbank caught him. Can you believe it? Hey. We're walking around in front of hey, my hey, friend. Hey, how you doing my friend? Hey, you look taller on video. I am, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See that scene right there? We saw his laptop right there on the table. <laughs> yeah. This is really... It's super, super clean. Yeah. Holy cow. This is so nice. And let's see, there's his, uh, there's his, uh, dash cam. Dash cam. <laughs> there's RJ. Yep, there yeah. he is. There's the other, that's your Garmin, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my Garmin, yeah. Yeah. This is so cool, man. This <laughs> is like, really. Now, when we're watching you, Sometimes you got your camera. It, it seems I got like it right, right here. here. Yeah. Okay, you got it right there. Yeah, I got it right up there. Yeah, yeah. looking at you. Yeah, and, and then uh, I got another clip right here. And that's the one that now is that that's the one that looked yeah. at you too. Yeah, yeah. And then when you're and then I'm recording forward. I got it on here. Got it right there. Yeah. This is a nice clean truck. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> I got my feet as close. Oh, to the there door. is a towel on the edge there if you want to. Is there? Yeah. I usually try and keep a towel there just in case somebody <laughs> comes yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little well, dirty already. That's but okay. That's what it's designed for, right? <laughs> yeah. We don't want to mess up the truck, definitely. Yeah. See, even Rudy takes off his shoes before he comes in. Oh, look at that. Avalanche, <laughs> avalanche. Huh? Oh, yeah. it is clean. Yeah. My goodness. Oh, now, I sleep up there, you yep, know. Yep, he's got a double bunk. He sleeps up there so he can keep his table on. Yeah. I like that. I like that idea. The table. Yeah, and, and the table you can actually fold down and make that into a bed too, into right? Into a bed. Yeah. Like the, uh, the that pillows makes, that you got up there. 
that makes a nice place to sit though if you just oh want, yeah uh, like that's eat. where yeah that's where i usually sit that way i can do my paperwork on there and i can you know i cook something i i got a stove up here that that you guys probably seen a few times where i cook cook where a dinner and <laughs> dinner it's yeah. a little dusty now but you yeah. know cook my dinner with <laughs> this is really nice for yeah me. got oh you know God. lots of room in here you can now guys i am going to show you guys something very interesting for those of you that are north american english speaking people you will have probably never ever heard of this or seen this and what i'm going to do is grab this pot as you can see it's sitting on a fire it's boiling right well what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my hand and i'm going to hold the pot with my hand just stay tuned and watch here we go guys so you can see i got nothing in my hands right that's what to get this done here we go There we go. You can see it. You can see my hands are black. That just proved it that I did it. And we got Heather over here. Hi. Hi. And uh, this is Ed. Ed. Okay. So what what do we got going on here in Steinbeck today? Uh, today we have the Diamond Aces, which is the Steinbeck RC Fly Club. Okay. And we have our annual mall show display set up. Oh wow. So uh, we want to show the viewers here a little bit on what we got going on here. So, uh, uh, what kind of what kind of plans? Like, I'm not familiar with the names and stuff like that. Like, what kind of plans do you guys have up here? Today we have a complete variety. We have electric powered. We okay. have glow fuel powered, which is oh, wow. Never primarily heard of that. <laughs> prim primarily alcohol. Okay. That's that's where they started about 40 years ago, 40, 50 years ago. Wow. And now we've even gone into the gasoline. We have some gasoline powered okay. aircraft here. So we've got three different kinds of power. Okay. And uh, and they're all different sizes, right from the, as you can see, right from the yeah. small yeah. Uh, 15, 18 inch wingspan, right up to six, seven, eight feet wingspan. Uh, you can even buy bigger ones, but we don't have any of the real big ones here today. Oh wow. Yeah. So I thought these ones were pretty big to me already. Yeah. <laughs> no, there are some bigger ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Definitely something for any skill level. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 So what what uh, what would somebody be looking for if they're uh, a beginner and they want to get into it? And uh, what kind of plan would be good for uh, for a beginner? Well, there are some very good low cost, okay. uh, actually uh, kits that you that are actually under four hundred dollars these days. Could you, you buy them at a, at a hobby shop? Yeah. They fly extremely well. Yeah. We do recommend though that you uh, come to see the local club. Okay. because uh, you buy a club membership and we will teach you how to fly yeah. oh, we that's will, great we will, yeah. we will all but guarantee that you will be able to fly yeah. and we're there to help you with advice yeah. we'll even help them with advice on deciding what to buy yeah, yeah. And, Definitely. and why that's for them yeah. do you have even uh, an expensive airplane is still a cost right? yeah so oh yeah you can definitely, have yeah. experienced uh, instructors showing you it just helps yeah. you not crash right away right yeah exactly you know awesome. that's that's what my biggest fear would be yeah. for me is uh is crashing, <laughs> crashing it right away and, and do some big damage to it. Yeah. Would you have uh, one that's an intro yeah. level here? Or? Well, actually... Uh, yeah? Could you maybe show yeah, me, yeah. Show me yeah. one? So that way my, my viewers can see uh, what kind of plane would be like an intro. Oh, there we go. Here, here's one example. Very small foam uh, airplane flying. Oh, so it's made out of foam. Yeah, it's, it, it only weighs about uh, three ounces. Okay. It flies very well, very, very easy. Okay. Uh, that's one way to go. Uh, what some people do, they'll buy them at the hobby shop, and some people, they, they, they can actually learn to fly themselves. However, okay. that's not a good idea because they don't yeah. understand rules, yeah. regulations, and safety. Okay. And we live in a world where that is important. Yes. Because we don't want them to fly it at a park and fly it into, say, some children, yeah. families, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And so you think you can fly this one and then you upgrade to something <laughs> maybe a little bit more and then all yeah. of a sudden it's all just a little bit different. And, and does this one operate on, on battery or...? Yeah, this one is electric. Oh, this one is electric. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, guys. We are here near and center Ontario, guys. 
and we are meeting up with uh, some very special people up here today they are subscribers of mine at least one of them is the other one says he's going to subscribe very soon mm -hmm. yeah so let's have a look at him we got brad over here hello hey and you charlie charlie yeah all right well nice to meet you guys nice to meet you yes so we uh we're going to probably go inside the restaurant i'm probably going to have a bite to eat and uh, at least i am i haven't had anything to eat so if you guys want to join me i'll join you yeah yeah when are you going to put the train horn on there well there's guys in alberta I know. And it's legal apparently. Really? Yeah. They buy it in the States. Mm -hmm. and, they, and I like the sound of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know Jupak said he really likes my horn and, and he's used it in one of his videos. And he <laughs> says, I think tomorrow is going to be one video where he uses my horn again. But. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna have to say hello to Larry. <laughs> I miss you, mister. Yes, yes, definitely. We have to definitely say uh, say hi to Larry. That's yeah. right, and he needs to come up to Canada so we can go to Beef beef Baron, that thing that we were at? Uh, not beef, sure. that, beef well, Baron. We will know here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> we will know in a second. Should be right there. Oops, there we are. Down. The cattle baron. Cattle baron, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he uh, he wanted to try out my my barbecue. He says uh, yeah. <laughs> the challenge that we have between me and Jerry, he wants to wants to make sure he knows which one is better. Oh, hey, that's a <laughs> that's a must. We're I think we're kings of barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh yeah, I just love barbecuing. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the greatest thing in the world. You know? Oh, it is. Yeah. It? Next to French fries. <laughs> what? Well, you know what Barry said? No. He said he uh, he come up to Canada a long time ago, uh -huh. and he said he went up to a KFC along the 401. <laughs> And and then he said, in, in the United States, he can get mashed potatoes, but he can't get mashed potatoes at KFC. That's right. We don't <laughs> Sma smash potatoes. We don't go well. <laughs> and by the way, Larry, in Carberry, Manitoba, carnation plant. We used to they used to process potatoes. Okay, and I used to work part time in the summer with the, the ranchers. Okay, and they had the best. French fries going because we grew them potatoes. <laughs> they were called Melba Jam. I remember, if I told you useless information, I got tons of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly was nice meeting up with you over here. We had a nice. He's told me all kinds of stories about the military. It, it was a, it was a lot of fun. I listening to him about all the all the military stories and stuff. You know. A few of them. Yeah, a few, few of them. them, yeah. And by the way, I did serve with NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization in Europe, and I was associated, uh, no, hang on, it's not the right words. We had a joint operating center, American, Canadian, British, German, Dutch, and Belgiques. And the most fun I had, and I hope to God, somewhere along the line, Steve Wilkinson, Specialist for here's this. I need to get a hold of you. <laughs> I think I've talked about this young military soldier. He was a GI. Okay. And we served together in our trade, and I had the greatest time with him. And I always remember the turkey he bought me. <laughs> 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 because we did we did not have a PX. Okay. And um, I, I gave them the money and everything, and he bought us a 25 pound turkey butter bomb. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. But the thing is, that's only one little story. You know? Hey guys, we are in Montana here in Winnipeg. And have a look at that. We got some beef ribs uh, up here, some corn and a baked potato. And uh, we're fixing to have some dinner. This is for you. That's for you. And what's your name? Rudy. Rudy? Yeah. And how old are you? How old do you want to be? 33. 33? Yeah. The Fuck this time. Right. There you are. Squish him on. There you are. There you go. I'll let you hold those. Alright. Right. Attention Montana, we have Rudy celebrating his 33rd birthday with us. Can we get a round of applause?
guys. Happy birthday. Hey guys, we're on the beach, getting ready to fish, standing in the water. Ha! Ah, opening a cold beer. Oh yeah. Morning, Rudy. 42 North Side here. Just thought to give you a little shout out. Sitting here in Anaping, beautiful day today. And uh, not much going on, but I'm gonna show you something. My fish is bigger than your fish. Okay, have a good day, take care. Now back to the Trucker Rudy show. It's just east of Golden. If you're going eastbound, it goes up quite a bit. And if you're coming westbound, it goes down on a fairly good grade, you know. It's about, uh, I don't know, five kilometer stretch up here. Where you literally, like right there, you see pretty much a straight drop off. And that goes down a good long way. <laughs> As you can probably see right here. You can't even really see the bottom. That's how straight down it goes. Oh, yeah. It is absolutely dangerous in my opinion right here. You want to be paying attention when you are driving this stretch of the highway. I guarantee you that you don't want to take these corners too fast. You flip her over onto that side towards the right there. You're going down my friend. You will be going down a long, long way. Not right here but there over there it was, you know, it was a long way down. It's still still going up. We are still going up, but right here, you know, if you would get off of that edge, there was there would be no holding you back. You'd be on the bottom of that uh, <laughs> between the mountains there, you know. So let's take a look. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Peter up there. I got it on a spinning uh, plate up here. Oh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous Peter here. Oh yeah, I got dualies on the back, <clears throat> just gonna wait a little bit until it spins all the way around up to me, it is just absolutely gorgeous, I mean look at all the chrome that they got on it, you know, and I've seen uh, people climb into it, so I guess we'll see if we can take a tour inside of this beauty, beautiful Peterbilt, oh yeah, we'll have a sneak peek and see if we can see how she looks on the inside you know let's take a look look at the beauty here on the front that is absolutely gorgeous huh yep they got that really wide front bumper on it look at this grill I mean that's just absolutely gorgeous Look at that nice horse they got up there. <clears throat> Let's go see if we can uh, climb her in here. Let's have a look. Wow, that is that is a beautiful peat, man. Look at all these clocks they got inside of here. Wow. Look at that big long nose hood. That is a lot of switches and all that good stuff. And they took the cap off of the gear shift. You now it looks like, feels like they're taking it completely out. Got some kind of flooring in here, but let's go sneaker into the back. Wow, that, you gotta watch your head up here. All right. Well, that's a, that's a pretty small space compared to my truck, isn't it? <laughs> at least I think it is but they do also have a uh, Canworth up there oh I just hit my head on there <laughs> so we're gonna go check it out and see what the uh, Canworth looks like so well this is the Canworth I was telling you guys about it is absolutely gorgeous I love the way the Canworth has got their design on the older ones you know it is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at these things here. That is beautiful, beautiful design. 
This looks like it's the glue on stuff there. It probably wouldn't last when you're outside and the, and the weather and the cold and all that. Even these tanks, like these ones here, they get pretty beat up there in the Canadian winter. But we got the studio sleeper on here. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the lights they got up here. <laughs> That's almost a little bit distracting. They got big racks up here. They got chains up here. Look at these big head racks here for, especially for uh, flatbeds, guys, and stuff like that. They got fenders up here. Exhaust, everything. They got pretty much everything a trucker could ask for. And look at these fenders. They got different styles of them. This is where they got the exhaust pipes. I mean, all kinds of boxes. You know, if you need a box for your your truck or whatever, you know, all kinds of step step docks, uh, boxes and stuff like that. They got all these things here to tie down a load. All that stuff. Oh yeah. They got lots of goodies in here, that's for sure. Well guys, look at this beautiful car up here. Really, really old classic cars up here. They got hung up here on the pole. Yeah, looks like an old milk truck. Okay, what do you want to do? Play my song. <laughs> truck Rudy. How does it go? Driving on the road, my friend. Trying to shift some gears that grind. But always traveling far from home. Spending day and night alone. Driving on the road, my friend. Oh no, how did I go? <laughs> Jukebox, I recognize you, yes. Trucker Rudy, how's it going, Josh? Little Manitoba boy. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's right, you're a Manitoba guy too. Uh huh, I like the shirts. <laughs> yeah, nice. smart. I figure, Very smart. figure I gotta prom promote myself, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are my friends Elijah and Daniel, they're other YouTubers. Trucker Rudy. Well. Right. Do they help you out? Are they uh, not? They're just making videos friends. as well. Okay. Nice to meet you. So he's the reason why I do V-Dub. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've been watching you from the beginning, I think. I went all the way back as far as I could. And your channel? Uh, just the live been watching you. Oh, wow. So how long has that been? A couple of years? Uh, I'm a Yoji fan. Thanks. I'll look for you. Yeah. 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 They're at a pet store right now enjoying all the attention from the ladies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I brought mine with me. But I got somebody here watching. Oh, nice! Yeah. I got two little toys. Oh, no, 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 I don't know what you think of them. Did you guys uh, fly here? <laughs> no, I drove. Uh, I drove down here. Uh, yeah. I, mean, you've I don't actually drive. No, on my van. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Well, this is just. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to walk this per se. But then oh, I nice. remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He got paid to come here. Well, we saw your your periscope and all that when you arrived in Calgary. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I was stuck in Calgary for five, car? six hours. Uh, really? Oh yeah, it was, oh, wow. was delayed like crazy. Um, oh, oh boy. I'm here. He's already there, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you, uh, are you, are you going to be doing any uh, anything on Unless the show here today? Or? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. At 12.15 we have a travel panel. Yeah. Or do you oh, okay. With uh, yeah, Brian Tyler and Ty Moss and... And then I do the a lot that I haven't really met before. Oh, okay. Alrighty guys, we are outside. And as you guys could probably imagine, we are cooking some beef ribs. Yeah. Starting to look really good, I think. Yeah. We're having a good time. Got me 18 wheels rolling down the road. Well, guys, let's see if you will recognize this truck that's just pulling up over here. Let's have a look. That's it. You guys probably recognize that truck, eh? So let's go talk to this man and see what he's all about. Hey, Pale Rider, how's it going, man? Oh, no. 
<laughs> you doing all right? Doing all right. Yeah? Uh-huh. Finally got meet in person. Yes, it's nice to finally meet up with you. Yes, sir. See, you made it, eh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Had any bad traffic coming up here? Yeah, huh? it went smooth. Went smoothly? 70 mile an hour all the way down. Oh, my, hammer down, eh? <laughs> I see you got the GoPro logo on there as well, eh? I stuck mine on the, on my truck as well, and it didn't last. I guess I put it on the metal, and the, the water got into it. Wow. It's got that new ladder in it. Yeah, I saw that I on had, Facebook. I had smaller one. Yeah. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you. There you go, guys. You got it. I hope you have enjoyed this look back at 2015. I enjoyed putting the video together. It was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, this whole year has been very exciting for me. A lot of new uh, people I have met that I have met through YouTube and uh, I appreciate all of you guys every single one even though I haven't met everyone yet which would be kind of hard to do <laughs> already got 1342 uh, subscribers as of right now as of me recording this video and uh, it would be kind of hard, I think, to meet every single one of you because you're around the world. <laughs> but we appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos on a daily basis. Uh, I do work really hard to put a video up every single day. Sometimes it's not as easy as some people might think. It takes a lot of time and effort and putting something interesting together for you guys. But we did have a lot of fun this year. It was a very exciting year and we got to go to vlogger fair we met a lot of great youtubers out there and uh, we have met a lot of great people overall so anyways i don't want to drag this on too long so the video has probably been long enough for you guys already so we appreciate you guys and i hope all of your new year resolutions will come through and uh, we will be back next year again or i guess as, as you watch it it's january 1st already so uh with that being said have a good one everybody hope you enjoyed your holidays now it's time to go back to work and i hope you're not grouchy at it we'll catch you on the next time